We are in the last days of the world. Satan has never forgiven our Lord for interrupting his control of the entire world. And for the past 2,000 years, he and all his minions in hell have done everything they possibly can by persecution, by internal revolution, by heresy, by schism, everything they, that they can to crush out this reign of God on earth established by Jesus Christ. And that is why our Lord warned, He who is not with me is against me. We are in the midst of a cosmic struggle between good and evil. There is no neutral ground. All your atheists say, well, we want to get rid of God. Uh, we just want to do our own thing. We just want to build our own heaven on earth. We want to be neutral. There is no neutrality. If we are not for Christ, we are against him. If we are not fighting in the kingdom of Christ, then we have been duped into the kingdom of Satan. Well, during these last days of the world, the Bible tells us that Satan will raise up a great antichrist who will reign over a world empire. He will enslave the entire world under his power and a reign of terror, the like of which history has neither known nor imagined. In addition to taking over the world, he will take over all religions. He will subdue all churches. And he will combine and amalgamate them into one great world religion and eventually make every human being bow down and worship him as God. This Antichrist of Lucifer will not be the Lord Maitreya of the New Age movement and Benjamin Krem. No, it will be someone else who will come not out of the Middle East, but out of Europe. I think this Lord Maitreya is merely a tactical feint to distract us from the real Antichrist who perhaps at this very moment is preparing to make his appearance on the world scene. There are various degrees of possession. It doesn't take place all at once. It begins with a Ouija board or tarot cards or fortune tellers or begins with astrology. And that's when we first open the door to Satan in our lives. He avoids this bizarre behavior that, that we saw in the movie Exorcist because he doesn't want people to know he's there. He doesn't want even his victim to discover that he is gradually taking over his or her life. He knows the first thing they'll do is go call an exorcist, and that's the last person in the world he wants to see. And there are various degrees of, of possession so finally you reach that perfect degree we saw in the instance of Adolf Hitler where a demon is able to imitate perfectly the personality of his human victim whose own consciousness he has completely suppressed. And according to Marilyn Ferguson in her book on the New Age Movement the Aquarian Conspiracy, and of course, according to your own Mrs. Constance Cumby here in Detroit, there are far more people possessed today than we realize. All these new methods of meditation, Eastern spirituality, are really short courses in how to get yourself possessed. Transcendental Meditation, EST, Earhart Seminar Training, Silva Mind Control, Biofeedback, Yoga, Stress Management Programs, Techniques, 
New Age spirituality, the mind sciences, anchor hold, which is being introduced as a form of spirituality among Catholics, A Course in Miracles, all of these are methods to get oneself under the control of a demon. Still the mind control, I can speak from experience. I started to take his program. I was talked into it by another priest. They don't tell you in the beginning that eventually they're going to have you communicating with higher intelligences from out of space. This is all part of the occult. You're not told in the beginning what you're getting into. Until finally you reach a point, I'm afraid, where it's too late. Well, one weekend of that, I got as far away from those people as I could get. Father Matthew Fox, a Dominican, has established out in California his center for creation, centered spirituality. This is simply another technique to get oneself possessed. This is why he brings in people like Starhawk, a registered witch, to teach in his program. It's basically a reversion to paganism, to nature worship, to the worship of creation. And that is the very trap into which Teilhard de Chardin himself fell. According to a recent Gallup poll, at least 10 million Americans have dabbled in this Eastern mysticism and are in some degree of diabolical possession. Well, these are the shock troops, the advanced troops of the Antichrist, who will be marshaled under his flag when he unleashes his reign of terror on the earth. The Bible tells us that the Antichrist will have complete control of all the real wealth of the world. Daniel chapter 11 says he shall control the riches of gold and silver. I'm sure there's some here this afternoon who can remember when we had gold and silver coins. And that's real money because it has a real intrinsic value. I remember when I was a youngster, even the dollar bill, I'd sometimes receive one for a birthday, and as you can imagine, as a youngster, I would examine it very carefully. I would always notice it used to say, redeemable in silver from the United States Treasury. But if you've examined a dollar bill lately, you will notice it no longer says that. Instead, it calls it a Federal Reserve note. All real money was taken from us, at least the gold, in 1932 by Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And our silver was taken from us by Nixon in 1971. And in its place was issued this paper money, which has no intrinsic value. As it itself said, it's a Federal Reserve note. And a note is legal jargon for an IOU. It's really just a piece of paper. No, all real wealth has been taken from the American people and concentrated in the hands of the minions of the Antichrist. 